What's up everybody, 915 Mang here. Got a RODI system from Marine Depot. I'm gonna show you how to install this piece of equipment and we're gonna talk about the benefits of using an RODI system for your reef tank aquarium. This is the six stage RODI system. It's pretty legit, it comes in one piece, one unit. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I mark the holes for the RLDI and I'm going to pit it, drill it inside with a 2x4. The drill that I'm using is an impact drill. If you try to do this with a screwdriver, you're going to have a hard time. Just get yourself an impact drill, you'll use it and it'll pay for itself. Installation was very easy and when it came down to plugging in the hoses, I actually did have to read the instructions. Straightforward, it goes the inline into the sediment filter. Really easy to do, just connect it and push it. And the output comes out of the DI resin, which is going to be your last stage of your RODI system. Um, the yellow line is going to be your wastewater, okay? There's nothing wrong with the wastewater. All it is is that the RODI system is going to make pure water. Now, in order to do that, it takes three gallons of wastewater for every one gallon of pure water that you make. So you're gonna to wanna to run your yellow line, which is your wastewater, out to the garden or collect it somewhere. Um, this sensor right here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap the wires. I'm gonna organize it so that it's easy to do. Also the um, sensors, they'll say line one, line two, Line three, line two is already connected. You just gotta worry about your line uh, one and your line three. Line one is gonna be the output, which is leaving the DI resin. It's gonna be pretty much gonna say zero uh, total dissolved solids. So I'm gonna connect it right here. And then the line three is your incoming, and that's just gonna measure um, how much total dissolved solids is coming into the RLDI. So I'm just going to cut it right here and then connect it. And I'm going to cut it right here and connect that. And as you can see, it's labeled line three. And that's coming into the system. And I'll show you that here in a second. The next part of the filter is actually the RO membrane. It's The membrane is a thin film of sheet rolled up really tight. And basically what it's going to do is going to collect salts, metals, bacteria, all kinds of pollutants. It's going to collect 98% of all the trash that's in your water. Uh, the membrane is really important. And you need to keep in mind that you need to replace this stuff every year to two years. Okay. And in order to install it, all I'm going to do is unscrew this. I already removed the cap, the hose. And then you're just going to go ahead and slide it in. You're going to make sure that you uh, pit it in there with the no nozzle towards the end. And then go ahead and squish it down a little bit and you're going to be good to go. Tighten it up. It doesn't have to be super ridiculous tight. All it needs to be is hand tight. And then once you're done, just get the blue hose, push it back in there again. Give it a nice good push and you're going to be good to go. So if you're thinking about starting a reef tank or getting into the aquarium uh, as a hobby, you're going to want to get the RODI system first. Uh, it should be one of your first pieces of equipment that you buy probably before you even buy a reef tank. Um, the reason why is because everything starts with the water quality and it's going to avoid a lot of problems. This system also comes with a wrench. It tells you which way to turn to tighten it or loosen it. It's right there on the bottom. Another way that I hooked up my RODI system, I got this brass uh, splitter and it's connected to the cold water side of my uh, washer machine. I just turned that little lever. I flick it on when I'm ready to use it and then I flick it off when I'm done. As you can see, the system is filling up for the first time. I am checking for any type of leaks, examining all the connections because I want to make sure that it is everything is okay. 
as you can see on the TDS meter, it is coming in uh, on line two. And then I'm going to switch it to line one. Line one is the output, and it should be reading zero TDS. And that is the last stage, which is hitting the uh, DI resin. The DI resin is going to do most of the work for your aquarium. It's going to take out everything that the carbon blocks, the sediment filter, and the uh, membrane can't. This right here is the flush. You should be in the middle position. Uh, that way that the water is totally being processed. Um, when, you, when you have it open like me, all you're doing is flushing out the membrane. And you want to do that before um, you start making water and then close it up in the center again once you're ready to make water. The pressure, I am well above 60 and I'm doing good right now. You can see it's uh, 70 and then once you flick it, the line, the TDS meter to one, it's gonna be uh, zero again. But I'm curious, what RODI system do you guys use at your house? Um, how do you guys go get your water? Do you guys go get your water from the LFS and just drive it home to your fish tank? Do you guys have your salt already mixed by the LFS? Or do you guys do it like me and just make everything at your house whenever you're ready and the convenience of your home? So let's go ahead and talk real briefly how an RODI system works. Once again, this video is pretty much for anybody who has been looking at this system or is new to the hobby. Um, the water line is going to come in. It's going to go through your um, sediment filter, which is the first stage. Then the second stage and third stage, it's going to go through the carbon block. And then it's going to go into the membrane, which is the top. And then from there, it's going to hit the DI resin. And then the last stage, another DI resin. Now the DI resins are cool because they're color changing. Uh, once you're done, once it's been exhausted, they'll start changing color from that nice dark blue to like a yellow. Uh, and at that time, you want to go ahead and order some more DI resin and just change it out. So keep in mind, this is the heart of your system. You're going to want to take care of your filters and change them out every six months. Um, if you use the coupon code 915MANG, you'll get a discount, especially if you're a first-time user. Just go to Marine Depot and you can order this uh, RODI system, get a discount, and you'll be good to go. Now, the water storage is another part which I'll briefly cover. I'm basically using a brute trash can. It's sitting on top of some cinder blocks, and then I have a float valve uh, right here. Once it levels out, the water is going to stop. And this is important because if you're making water, you guys take off to the store for whatever reason, you go to sleep on accident, um, you can, you'll be okay. I do suggest that once you're done making water, you go back to the cold water side hookup and you just turn that switch off. That way your DI resin and your filters will last you a lot longer. That's what I do. As far as the brute container, I'm using a Schedule 80 bulkhead um, you can use something else but I suggest a schedule 80 because it's heavy duty I did it like this and I haven't had any problems so if you guys have any questions hit me up in the comments below make sure you guys like and subscribe and don't forget to use that coupon thanks guys and have a good one